It's going to be your first Cascadia Derby. Well, your first regular season Cascadia Derby. What uh, what are you expecting for this match against Vancouver? Well, I think one of the things that got me most excited to come to play for this team was the rivalries that, that uh, this club has, uh, you know, with Vancouver and, and with Seattle. So I think that uh, it's something, you know, I'm very much looking forward to. And, and I know the, the guys in the locker room and the fans are, are a lot, too. So extra energy in games like that when you, you play in rivalry games? Uh, there, there's always something special. I know, you know, when, when uh, we played against Colorado at Salt Lake, um, there was always something special, you know, and it was, uh, you know, it wasn't just for points, you know, it, it was, for, it was for the fans and it was for the cities, and uh, you know, there was, just, there was a lot more on the line. You guys uh, have obviously had good performances, but haven't been able to get that win yet. Does that get frustrating, or do you just feel like that win will come when it comes? Oh, you know, I think it's, um, you really just have to look at the performances, and I think the performances have, have been quite good. Um, you know, in uh, in our games, you know, and, and I think that aside from maybe a 20 minute stretch uh, against LA at home, I thought we've been very, very good overall. And I think when when you're playing well, uh, the the results are going to come. You just have to have patience. With uh, being a defender, how does what does it mean to be able to get, help the team get two clean sheets in uh, three games? Uh, it's encouraging for sure. I, I think that from the outset, uh, Caleb and the staff have done a great job of setting the standard for our defensive mentality as a group and, and that's already paid dividends. You can tell that everybody switched in and, uh, and has bought into to that mentality and uh, you know we're, we're, we're in a place uh, right now where we're continue, continuing to progress uh, as a defensive unit and, and that's just really going to help us come, you know, come playoff time. Uh, we saw you guys doing some yoga out there today. Uh, yeah. you're, you a big yoga guy? or? I mean, I, I'm not very flexible, but I, I like yoga. It, it, it's definitely helpful for uh, for older guys, I think, like me, for sure, to, you know, just relax and, you know, uh, loosen up the muscles and, um, you know, uh, get your mind right, I think. And, and that it was today was a good day for that. You know, we played some games and we did some yoga, and you need days like this to, to recover. No. Uh, with uh, with Alvis getting the call up, it's going to be really the first time you guys have had to make a change on the defensive line since the start of the season. Yeah. Um, how, how do you adjust to that this week? It's going to be tough. I mean, you know, missing a guy like Alvis, you know, who's played I think quite well the last three games, um, is difficult. So you know, we're going to rely on our depth for um, you know to, to shore up his spot. But you know, I, I think that we, we're very confident in whoever we bring in, and uh, you know, I, I think that. Um, you know, on the other side, they're losing the, you know, Kakuta Mane, and, and I think that's uh, you know positive for us as well. Uh, with all the injuries and uh, you know, there's the suspension to Mane, the international call-ups. Um, does that does that make it sort of harder going into a game, having less of an idea of who exactly you're going to face? Uh, it's difficult for sure. You, you want to. Uh, be able to know exactly who you're matching up with uh, before you play a game, but it's just the business. Uh, there's always going to be injuries. There's always going to be call-offs, uh, situations where you're not playing against the exact same uh, formation or lineup you thought you were going to play against. So we'll just have to make adjustments.